Hope your weekend's going well. Time for Saturday Night Baseball from Tropicana Field. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Boston Red Sox and the Tampa Bay Rays. is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox. As their starting nine tonight will look like this. And there's a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. Just about ready for some evening baseball. Number 21. Yeah. And the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one, and a new season of baseball is underway. First pitch, seven o'clock. Oh, and a half swing there, and a pitch out of the zone indeed. It's strike two. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And this misses so that'll fill the count at three and two. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. That's a real good at bat there. He fell behind one and two right out of the gate, but instead of going out of the zone to protect, he was able to lay off three straight and get his guys a leadoff base runner. Into the box, Cattell Marte. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Nobody out runner on first. Mm, two and oh. Just getting deeper and deeper into trouble here in the first inning. He's walked one guy already. Now he's fallen behind another guy here. Now a move over to first, and he's back standing. Hey. 
that one's more like it, he says. Back to two and one now. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Comes set, now the pitch. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Babe will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And defensively, the Rays will look like this behind him. Number 28 is in to take his first swings here with the runner still at first and one away. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, a fastball just about undressed him there. It's ball one. Now a throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in. Runners on first with one down. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's 2-1 and one now. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Well, if these guys are going to do anything this season, he's going to need to be a big part of that offense. And he comes through big time right here with a base hit in his very first step out. Stepping in now, Marcelo Zuna as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. You talk about early pressure to start things out. My goodness. Bases loaded now. Still only one out. And we might be looking at one of the crucial moments of this ball game. Just five batters into it. Gary Sanchez steps up to the plate with a great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bases are loaded here. One man out. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. It's going to take a lot of guile to work out of this one. Well, he's got plenty in reserve. This would need to be a magic act, no doubt. Come set, now the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now a ball hit sharply on the ground to third. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More coming up under the dome in just a moment. lineup for the Rays here looks like this. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen.
of the Red Sox will look like this behind him. Yasmani Grandal comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that misses ball one. Boy, I don't know that I'd want to be facing this guy right now. He looks pretty fired up out there. Yeah, he looks like he could run that fastball through a brick wall. Now here it comes. Nope. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Pitch on the way. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the pitch. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And the catch is made one away. Jose Abreu is set to go now as he'll get his campaign at the plate started right here. And the pitch. Nope. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. Here it comes. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. I'm not sure that pitch would break a pane of glass. That is very tough for a big league hitter to wait that out. Late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. And he'll take it onto the bag himself. Two gone now here in the first. Batting third, second baseman, Babe Babe. Babe Babe gets his first cuts now. The bases are empty, and there are two away here in the opening frame. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Already hitting 98 miles an hour here in the first inning. He's one of the hardest throwers that these guys will see all year long. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. And a waste pitch there, one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. Now here's the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two out, nobody on. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. Well, it looked like he was trying to bounce that pitch on the 2-2 two -two count and just get him to chase, but that was a good job to lay off that pitch and push the count full. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Swing and the line drive. 
And he's got himself a base hit. Yeah, he was hoping for a quick one, two, three to start the night. Now he's going to have a little work to do with a runner on and a dangerous cleanup hitter coming up. Jose Iglesias will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Foz now the pitch. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one, and that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Right, especially starting off an at bat. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Carlos Santana makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And that's right there, and we're even at 1. Santana waiting on a 1-1. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, he'll take it. I mean, he runs like a gray hair. Even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Standing in now, Starling Marte. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. On to first, and there were two down. Batting center fielder, Johnny Johnny Keenan into the box here in the top of the second looking to keep this inning going. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. No score here as we play inning number two. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Babe, Babe strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. The pitch. And a changeup here misses off the corner to start him out. It's ball one. And he lays off the pitch up and in ball two. Over the outside half, and it's two and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on two and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there, and it's 3-1 and one now. Now this one sets up a big pitch because you don't want to lose that leadoff guy in a scoreless ballgame. Ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Yeah, not what you want to do here in this hostile ballpark. Walk the leadoff guy who just happens to be a threat to go every time he's on first. Tough way to start things out. 
Jorge Soler gets his first shot here with a man on following the leadoff walk. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Throw over to first, and the runner back easily. Has a look, now the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. From the stretch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Man, he goes for this pitch hook, line, and sinker. I'll tell you, he actually, he needed a hook, line, and sinker to fish that one out of the game. In now, Babe, Babe, and a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Towards second, swinging a ball hit on the ground. Here's a look over to first. Runner back standing. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. Into the box. Jim Cox. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. Bottom of the second here with no score. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Ready? Now the pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. All right, let's go. That's A little three. too tall that time. Three and one now. Is he worrying too much about that guy on first? I, I think he might be. Guys worry so much about the stolen base but they don't realize that a walk is ten times worse. A runner on first with two away. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. We'll move to the third with no score. Starlin Castro steps in here to start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Here's the pitch. 
And this is low, ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. A lot of people think that pitch will burn straight down, but it will work back a little bit towards righties, like that one did right there. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Changeup, pulled a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. And here's a sinker that causes him to back away as that just about got him. And there you see the leadoff man on deck. And you know they'd love to get someone on base when this lineup turns over. And a slider that catches a lot of the plate that time. And it's sent out to deep left center field. And this one is gone. It's a solo home run off the bat of Starlin Castro. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. And you know, after a month down in spring training, Near the end, you start to get a little anxious waiting for the season to get going. I guarantee it. He's been looking forward to this at-bat for about a month now. He makes a wait worthwhile. Into the box now, number 21. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Now the pitch. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And after walking him the first time around, he's all business here in the second half now. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Well, that's a pitch right there that you've got to lay off. You know he's going to throw it on an 0-2, and that's a good job of pitch recognition right there. And now pitch on the way. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And you know what that is right there? That's life in the show, bud. Once teams around the league figure out the book on how to get you out, it can be a real tough adjustment to play at this level. Patel Marte is at the plate now, flied out in his first at bat. Now here's the pitch. First pitch is a sinker, too low, 1 0. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. <laughs> if he would have swung at that, he would have never heard the end of it. Here it comes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. Now back, number 28. Number 28 steps into the box. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw gets him there from short right field. A nice play, and that one ends the inning. 
The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. Now 1-0 Boston. Babe, Babe digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Designated hitter, Babe, Babe. Pitch on the way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Now here it comes. Nope. Just missing here, two and oh. Grounded foul. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. And good patience exercise as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Definitely not a guy you want to lose there. Now, you've got something else to worry about besides your plan. Yosemite Grandal will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. From the belt, the pitch comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0 and 2. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. And a cut fastball here that he started off a bit too far inside. It nearly got him. And even on 0 2. You don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. He's set. Now the pitch. And a bouncing ball. Foul. Nobody out. Runner on first. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. Come set, now the pitch. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats, and he's just fighting to stay alive here, still two and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Well, you never know. This might have been the lesser of two evils right here. If you take this pitch, you know it's strike three. If you swing, you might bounce into a double play ball. So the best he could have done was maybe fouled that thing off, but instead, he comes up in. Prior to the at-bat, a check on first. And he'll get back in safely. Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. As he'll take a look at ball one. Right. 
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Ball two. Two and oh now. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. on the move for second. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And this is one of the reasons why this guy's a major leaguer now, and that's his speed. He's going to be asked to run quite a bit, I'd imagine. And that right there is his first big league stolen base. And this is fouled at the plate. Another 2-2 offering. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3-2. He's ready now, the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, that's a tough pitch there, three and two. Probably would have been ball four, but I'm not sure if I could have laid off that one either. Standing in now, Babe, Babe. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number seven hitter. Probably not. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Still a base open here, so you don't have to come in with one if you don't want to. Two out here and a runner at second. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. And that's not the first time he's had the bat taken out of his hands. You see right there, a lot of pitchers just said, hey, with an open base, forget about it. I'm going to let the next guy try to beat me. In now, Jose Iglesias. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more on opening day after this. Marcelo Zuna is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. And this is fouled back and out of play. And the pitch. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. And he 
reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. In a one-run game like this, just keeping this guy off base is a big development because he can do his damage in a lot of different ways. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Fouled back. Strike out here. Now the pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. A oh, classic strikeout pitch there on 0 and 2. It's one he loves going to, but great recognition there at the plate to lay off. Hard sinker misses 2 and 2. One run on three hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. And now a pitch on the way. That's it sharply past the mound and on into center field for a one-out single. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with the base hit. Throw over to the bag. A dive, but he's back. Into the box, Carlos Santana. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Pause, now the pitch. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And on 2-0, and oh, this is where he's the most dangerous up there. I know it's a fastball count, but... I would maybe think about something else. Now a move over to first. Oh, Don't want to forget about him. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike two and one. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Now a throw over to first, but the runner's back easily. From the stretch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. Babe will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Starling Marte stands in. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out. He's set. Now the pitch. Pitch misses the throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now, you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Inside with the sinker, and that'll keep him honest at the plate. But one thing he's shown so far, he's not afraid to work inside. Yeah, and with that base open right now, he shouldn't have to be afraid. If you do hit him, big deal. Get the next guy. He waits. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Comes set. Now the pitch. 
And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And as a base runner, you have to get that good, aggressive secondary lead. So he knows this is a guy that likes to throw a lot of back foot sliders. So when he sees the ball in the dirt, he's ready to go. He's ready. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. One left for the Red Sox, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Babe is set to lead us off in the Leading home the half of the fourth base. inning. Now here's the pitch. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he swings on top and sends it on the ground out to second. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Jorge Soler is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Faces are empty. One man out. Outside, 3-0 now. Now that he's worked it to 3-0, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. And a good comeback there. It's 3-1. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full three and two. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again three and two. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. And when you know you've got a guy in protect mode up there and he's fouling off pitches left and right, that's when you know you can just keep taking him further and further away. He winds up getting the punch out here on a pitch that's well out of his own. Standing in now, Babe Babe. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And he misses again, 2-0. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. The pitch. Yeah. And he gets this fastball over. Back to 3-1 and one now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. 
Line hard deep into left. Marte is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We played four full. Boston's out in front, one to nothing. Johnny Keenan heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he will make the running catch near the stands. A tough play there on the run for the first down. Starlin Castro will see if he can do it again. He homered his first time around. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. One out, nobody on. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Now here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Oh, and that's a good pitch right there. That's just a hard-breaking slider down and away. And you get the hitter to be enticed by that pitch when it's about halfway there. It was looking like it was going to be a fastball on the outer half. Then it just flat disappears on you. You're left wondering, what happened? In now, number 21. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Corner paint right there, 97 miles an hour. What are you going to do with that? And he takes a big swing here, but this winds up a little tapper to the left of the moon. And with his speed, forget it. It's an infield single. And if this is almost any other guy in baseball, he's going to be out. But he just gets down that line so fast that he winds up beating this one out. Cattell Marte will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. One thing this team cannot afford is for him to get hurt early in the season. Luckily, though, looks like he's going to be all right. Number 28 digs in, and we'll see what he can do here with two on and two out here in the fifth. As a look, now the pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. From the belt, the pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. No runs, a hit, two left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox are out in front, one to nothing. Jim Cox will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. 
Here it comes. In there, two and two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth, as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Babe Babe is into the box, reached base via the walk in his first appearance. And that's in there for a strike. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. I think he took a little exception to that location. Yeah, and so would I if I was down there. If you want to work inside, that's fine. But once you get up over the letters and closer to my head, now nah, we're talking about a different story. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now here it comes. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Yosmani Grandal waits on deck. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And he will get in there with his first big league hit, a double. And now there's no happier person in the ballpark. Babe Babe has just recorded his first hit as a big leaguer. And as you'd expect would happen, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. And you know, Matt, nothing can quite prepare you for this kind of moment. Of course, as a player, you always expect to do well. And in your head, you've got a certain idea of what it's going to feel like. But there's quite a difference between imagining how it's going to feel and then actually getting that first hit. Yosmani Grandal will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Comes set, now the pitch. Oh, this ball's well hit. It's going to split the gap in left center. Around third and being waved on hold. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. I got to tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just going to go up hacking. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one to two bases. Jose Abreu stand in for the third time now still without a hit so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy and I think that's in the back of his mind but it's not something he's really focused on he just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball Start him with a slider that's taken down and away for ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. He's set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. 
But you talk about being comfortable at the plate. That's the way he's feeling it right now. Nine straight games with that base hit now. Babe Bain stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Waits now the pitch and oh looked inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one you gotta believe he's gonna keep going back to that slider it's been great for him so far good hard slider there but it runs away it's a ball and a strike would you say he's not really finishing his pitches at this point that's a good way to put it it looks like he's aiming a little too much, and that's not working for him. Swinging a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Jose Iglesias will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. Pause, now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And he continues to labor here, coming up on 100 pitches in just the fifth inning. He's ready now to pitch. And oh, look out as the cutter ran way in and just about drilled him. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that high. Now a little tapper here up the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Comes set, now the pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Full count, three and two. DK, where are you going now on three and two? I still got to work a corner. Not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway for him. He's ready. Now the pick. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Just another example there of needing the little things to go your way if you're going to win a ball game. Not a whole lot behind this swing right here, but it's going to wind up as an infield single. And more importantly, it's going to drive home a run to give them the lead. Stepping in now, Babe, Babe. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. He's set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to third, and they will get the force at third, and that's that. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Rays are in front, two to one. Marcelo Zuna will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Action now in the Tampa Bay pen as it looks like a right-hander's begun to get loose. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. 
And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Now check this out on show track. It's not a bad first pitch. It's down. It's on the outside part of the plate. Hey, if you can get guys to swing at that, you're going to have a lot of success. It just didn't work out here. Into the box, Gary Sanchez. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And no one will get this one. From the stretch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Gets under it a bit as this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Babe will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Carlos Santana will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Throw over to first. Runner back safely. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Slider taken here, one ball, one strike. And a slider misses here, two balls and a strike. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, they pulled the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Standing in now, Starling Marte, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Here's a look over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. From the belt, the pitch. A high strike there, and it's one and one. And this offense has just been stuck in neutral. Even when they get a guy on to start the inning, they've got nothing to go with it. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Now a move over to first, and a dive, but he's back. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. And now the runners will get a head start here with two away. And that's an important factor, too, because that's the tying run over there at first base. So he's likely scoring on an extra base hit. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. They're down 2-1.
Jorge Soler. Gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. Jorge Soler. And the pitch. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. The batter, left fielder, Babe. Babe, Babe will dig in now. He struck out and lined out in his first two at bats. Pitch on the way. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift, and he's fast approaching it here. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Keep in mind now, the longer this at-bat goes, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning out there. And another pitch is hit foul as the battle continues here. Another full count pitch home. And look out. That's in very tight, and it's ball four. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Jim Cox will step forward now following the walk as he'll hit with a definite speed threat at first and one away. You can bet he's going to see some fastballs in this half bat. I'd be looking dead red. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. Dive, but he's back in there. Runners off for second. Pitch outside. The throw is there, and he's out trying to take second. Here's the pitch. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's one and one. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the pitch. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. And Ozuna will make the catch to retire the side. Rays held in check here. They lead it two to one. Back here at Tropicana Field in St. Pete. We're in the seventh with the Rays out in front, and let's get you caught up with our game summary for the first six innings.
Johnny Keenan will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. It's been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The pitch. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. goes the other way with it high and deep down the left field line and goodbye this one ain't coming back and that folks is his first home run in the big leagues it's fair to say it's a moment he'll never forget yeah you're right Matt I remember mine I, I hit it in my first at bat of the 1992 season against the San Diego Padres it's hard to describe exactly what you feel as you round the bases but as you can imagine, it's pretty awesome. You know, hopefully he can get that ball back soon so it can go in his trophy room. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And now with that pitch count getting up there just a little bit, you can see that some of these pitches are missing just a little farther away than they were earlier. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. Two and one. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Number 21. Number 21 digs in with one run in and one gone in the inning. Hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. You gotta be kidding. That's you wide, two and zero. Oh. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. And even though that's a strike, that's a good take. You want to be looking one pitch, one spot. So don't go swinging at that one. That was nasty. Bases are empty, one man out. Let's go, Ray! Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, he gets a glove on it, knocks it down, and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now here comes the Tampa Bay manager out to the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first and the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Nelson Aviles is out from the bullpen as he'll get his first work of the season here on opening night.
Patel Marte steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. As a look, now the pitch. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and it's two and one now. Come set, now the pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Now you've got a run already in, another runner on first. You've got to think this has to be a fastball here. He's set, now the pitch. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Well, he's going to find that you know, hitters in the big leagues are much more patient than they were down at AAA. A strikeout in the minors turns into a walk at this level. Number 28 steps in now. and a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Uh, good pitch right there. Right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Ball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. Let's go, Ray. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats so another foul ball here and it remains one and two but this will wind up being a foul ball here he comes again one two swing and a miss and they'll dodge a major bullet that time two away and there's something he just may well remember for quite a while his first big league punch out I'm sure he's hoping it'll be the first of many many more and you hear a lot of pitching coaches talking about pitchers letting their defense do the work. But the truth is, if you want to stick around in the big leagues, you're going to have to take matters into your own hands every once in a while, too. In this day and age, you have to be able to strike guys out if you want to be successful. In now, Marcelo Zuna. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. He's ready now. The pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A two-out hit here would be nice, but a two-out walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either.
swing and a ball hit on the ground. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Yeah, give him three hits now for the ball game. This one's probably the weakest of the bunch, but I doubt he'll be complaining. I know I wouldn't be. Gary Sanchez comes to the plate looking to deliver with the bases loaded and two men gone. Comes set, now the pitch. Hit sharply, but caught down there at third. And a shake of the head as that ball was hit hard, but it'll leave the bases loaded. But the Red Sox tie things up on the solo homer. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch, and we are tied 2-2. Hansel Robles will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Babe, Babe steps in here. He'll look to keep it going after hitting a double and scoring a run last time up. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. And a good throw gets him one gone. Yosmani Grandal gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Now the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. Swung on and missed. One and one. Now pitch on the way. And fastball not close. It's two and one now. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Oh. That could be the defining moment of the game right there. We've got one more guy to get through in the inning, but that was a huge out number two. Stepping in now, Jose Abreu. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. One and one as this one's in on the hands. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Rays. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Jude Wilkinson will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Carlos Santana will stand in, and it's a bullpen game now. Both starters out as we begin inning number eight. Yeah, both starters are out, and since we're tied, both starters not going to be involved in the decision. strike one and you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here he's got two strikeouts already but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind Whoa! look out Whoa! and that'll give him a close shave And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. And the pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one.
And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. Well, that's what he's up here to do. Some late inning heat out of the bullpen. He finishes him off with a good fastball here for career strikeout number one. Into the box, Starling Marte. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up on that inside corner, or this guy will bury you. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Swing and a high pop-up back onto the outfield grass now. Iglesias will put this one away, and that's out number two. Up next for the Red Sox, center fielder, Johnny Keenan. Johnny Keenan leans in, looking to replicate his last at-bat when he launched a solo home run. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And this one is gone. A home run. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game as the Red Sox have taken a 3-2 lead. And you know... The only way you're going to tie this guy up on the inner half is if you go up and in. If you leave it belt high, he can handle that pitch, and he handled that one all right. Into the box now, Starlin Castro. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. That last home run, believed to be in the neighborhood of 424 feet. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And whatever you do, you can't let that previous call eat at you. You've got to come back with your best pitch here on three and one. Oh, and he was fooled that time on the pitch away as he went around for strike two. Chopper, foul. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. And the throw is in time. The strikeout and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Bottom of the eighth coming up, and Boston's taking a three to two lead. Alex Colome is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Alex Babe, Babe, go bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Second baseman, Babe. Up and in for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. That's a Good point. idea with the change, but it's two and one. Yeah, a couple of close pitches there on the inside part of the plate. 
No, I, I don't think he could have done much with either one of those. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. is lofted in the air out to right field. There to handle it is Ozuna, and there's one away. Jose Iglesias stands in. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Got him to swing at a pitch below the knees, one and one. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. One, one now to Iglesias. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Yeah, that finds a zone, but some of these pitches are getting a little too much elevation. That could come back to bite them. Now here's the pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Babe, Babe is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. This bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team effort on the mound so far. Babe, Babe, come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Marte retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Number 21 will bat now. Two for three in the ball game. Number 21. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a full strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Boys, that's 99 right through him. Now the pitch. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Again, a one two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Now this pitch is popped up. Playable for Grandal behind the plate. And taken in out there for the first out. Patel Marte stands in, reached on a walk in his last trip. Hey. 
called strike at the letters 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. Foul back. Swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. You know, and this is one of the few downsides to being a guy with tremendous strength at the plate. Once you get that thing started, it's really hard to put on the brakes, and he winds up breaking the plane right here, and that's strike three. Standing in now, number 28. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. misses in the dirt and it's 2 and 0 now. And this is what you got to do up there, Steve. You got to wait him out. Yeah, and if you can lay off the off-speed stuff, that's when you're going to get your fastball to hit. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2 and 1. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's 3 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. And a close play at the bag, but a good stretch by the first baseman got the out, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down one, two, three, and it remains a three-two ball game. Pedro Stroke is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 46, Pedro Stroke. Jorge Soler will step in, a ground out victim as last time. And this is taken outside for ball one. far inside ball two. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters. Make sure that pitch gets inside instead of staying out over the plate. That one ran just a little too much to catch the point. Too high as he misses again here, and it's 3-0 now. He's having a little trouble finding the strike zone here to start off the inning. And it's a long road back from 3-0. So just like that, the time runs aboard to start the home half. And this is not the way you want to start the ninth inning on the mound. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Now, in a one-run game, that puts the tying run on base to start things out. Babe, Babe comes to the plate now with the tying run at first. So he'll be looking to drive a ball into the gap here. From the belt, kicks and deals. In there, 0-1. And, and that's what he needed to do after the four-pitch walk. Come right back and get ahead versus the next guy. A runner at first with no outs here. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1-1. One
ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. <laughs> That's a big strikeout here with that tied run still at first. And now you're basically a ground ball away from getting out of this. Jim Cox stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing, and I'm just watching this game. Runners on first with one down. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Quick check on that tying run at first. And they get dirty, but he's back in safely. And again, a throw. And he just manages to get his hand in. Runner at first here, one man up. And yet another throw over. And the runner back safely. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stand. He waits, now the pitch. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. swing here but this is in there for a cold strike two and this is going to be a foul ball runners on first with one down boy really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes now a throw over to first and he'll get back in safely payoff pitch one more time now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground Santana will have plenty of room as he makes the catch and there's a big out number two. Babe Babe steps in working on a one for two game so far. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside it's nothing in one. That's a two-seam fastball right there. It looks to the hitter like it's going to be inside, and then it tails back to the inside corner of the plate. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Pause, now the pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. Quick check on that time run at first. And he's back easily. Runner goes for second. Now a swing and a ball shot foul right at home plate. Runner going a second time. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. From the stretch. Now here's another pitch foul off and heading for the seat. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. He's set now to pitch. And that's 
it's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. He may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, that's not going to help him. Yosemite Grandal ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. And this is cut on and missed below the knees in its 0 1. And that's what he needed here with two outs. He couldn't afford to fall behind another guy here in the inning, so that's a good job to jump in that driver's seat with strike one. And this will be a called strike two, and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Boy, things are going from bad to worse so far. He's looking completely lost up there. Too high. One and two. Two big outs here, but the tying and winning runs are both out there. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. They'll try again. One, two. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Swing and he shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Oh, and that will develop too late to get him at first, and now the bases are loaded here. Well, that's just one of those fluky plays right there. He gets a late break off the mound because he's concerned about the business end of that bat, and who wouldn't be? And they wind up not being able to get an out on that play. Jose Abreu comes to the plate in a great spot. Time run at third, but a ball to the outfield could give his guys the lead. And now everybody's running. As a look now to pick. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. And they will put the tag on him. He's out stealing home, and this ball game is over. What a knucklehead move that was. Wow, talk about an exciting finish. But you can't fault the aggressive play right here. Trying to score as the tying run, it was going to take a great play to get him. And sure enough, that's what they got. And they preserved the one-run victory. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. A tightly contested ball game here, so it makes it hard to find our top player of the game, but I think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs.